Okay, hello, welcome to the uh, blog again. So, at this time, let's discuss all about this waterline isometric layout. So, we have already uh, waterline layout, yung ginawa natin ng uh, blog yung una. Uh, this will be the output. Okay, itong waterline layout, this is uh, parang top view. Okay, so gawa natin ng isometric layout. So, this will be the isometric uh, waterline layout. Okay, so again, ito yung ating uh, water meter, cheek valve, at saka gate valve. Okay, again, this is the kitchen sink. Uh, Naka-isometric view. Okay, Labora uh, laboratory, water closet, at saka this one, must be okay. so, to view it isometric so this pic uh to mga picture iangat natin with uh, specific height so, ano yung mga height nila okay so itong kitchen sink saka laboratory for sure the same sila ng height or tingnan mo na lang sa code but yung uh my knowledge is nakangat siya 80 to 85 cm from the finished floor line. Okay. Iangat, iangat patin siya. Okay. This one. Okay. Saka itong water closet, nakaangat siya ng 430mm from the if, if uh, finished uh, finish floor line. Okay. Yan. Conflict. Okay. Saka itong si host beam. Uh, yung kanyang height is sa code uh, 12 inches almost uh, third uh, uh, point uh, 3048 meters okay so iangat din natin to okay or you can check the height if pwede mo nang taasan if anong gusto mo okay it's depend for you but ito yung minimum standard ng code and then let's connect the water line okay, from this, this one okay to kitchen sink okay okay the drop and then this one the water closet okay Itong laboratory. Let's connect this one. Okay. Tsaka itong host beam. Madali lang, no? Okay. Yan. And then, this is the isometric layout. Itong ating water line. So, meron pang ko lang. Lagyan natin nito ng uh, air chamber. Okay. So, yung air chamber. Ganon. Okay yung symbol di natin pinakita but okay ito yung symbol ng water chamber the purpose of that is para if you open the uh, faucet walang mag-iingay unwanted noise from uh, excessive pressure okay that is easy called as air chamber okay and then Okay, so on for this side. And pwede mong di pwedeng lagyan ng air chamber baka merong excessive noise. Or nakukulat ka na lang ba? Yung faucet ko medyo maingay. Okay. And then nakatap siya sa mismong uh, fixtures. Okay, that is easy or to call as air chamber okay, let's let's put a label para di tayo malito and then this one okay let's put at D okay, yeah. together with this host big if naka siya sa wall yung kundo it lagyan din natin air chamber okay so that's Paano gawin yung 
pang what, uh, water line isometric uh, layout. Okay, from here, itong water meter. Okay, gate bulb. Yung ating kitchen sink. Okay, yung ating uh, toilet fixtures. Okay, saka itong ating uh, host bib. And then, and then, to end this vlog, meron tayong miscellaneous details na I will show para may idea kayo ng konti paano yung mga host bib, saka yung air chamber, saka paano gawin yung ano, uh, water meter assembly. Okay. Again, we already done for this isometric. Nagawa na natin to. Okay, mabilis lang, no? Okay. And then, itong height is pwede mong i-double check ulit sa plumbing code if na-miss akong standard height. Okay. So, okay. Meron tayong, uh, for this portion, itong water meter, meron tayong uh, miscellaneous details to show paano yung installation. Okay. So, meron na pala. Again, this is your in, uh, input, incoming, saka ito yung outgoing ng sa mismong fixtures. Okay. This is 40. Actually, 20 lang ito yung gamit natin. Ano, it's coming from the, ano, it's coming from the uh, water line. Um, sa utility, water utility. Okay, may PPR, PPR elbow, uh, gate valve, onion patinti, okay, this water meter, to the fixtures, pwede natin gawin to ng 20. Okay, so ganun yung, ito yung soil, ito yung water assembly, uh, water meter assembly. Okay, so, and then for the host bib, actually yung host bib is nakadikit dun sa wall. My standard height is uh, 400 mm, yung natin is 12 inches. Okay, pa-double check na lang. Okay, this is host bib. Ito yung ginagamit habang dun sa laundry. Pag di masyadong, pag mataas yung, ano, pag mataas yung uh, washing machine mo, you can use a uh, hose. Okay, this is for uh, sectional elevation. Ito yung plan. Okay, if naka-imbid siya sa wall, and yung conduit, lagyan natin ng air chamber. Okay. Then, from this, mayroon tayong air chamber, uh, air chamber detail. Okay, pag 15 yung PPR na ginamit mo uh, the top is you must use uh, 20 mm PPR pipe okay, if I mean the standard height is minimum is 300 mm saka lagyan mo ng cup okay, if 20 yung ginamit mong uh, PPR pipe sa fixtures so yung earth chamber mo is minimum is 25 mm so mas ahead ng konti and then your minimum height will be 450 mm the top lagyan mo ng top okay so yun yung mga minimum requirements ng palaming code you can explore the other book o ng mga uh, dagdag na detali okay so that's all for our vlog for this isometric water line layout. Okay, you can apply this to all applications sa panit maraming pictures. Then, uh, second floor or third floor. Pwede mong kopihin yung ideas. And, uh, okay, if meron ka pang sa taas, you can make the riser here. Ito ka mag-riser supplyan mo yung taas. Okay, the second floor, the third floor. Okay. So that's all for this time. Okay. For sure, next let's do paano yung isomi, uh, sanitary layout for this particular fixtures. Uh, particularly, uh, plan lang. Water closet plus uh, kitchen sink saka laundry. Okay. For sure, mayroong mga floor drain. Okay, so thank you.